Hi everyone. So finally, I have found out a way to create consistent, uh, consistent images. Not only just consistent, you can actually use someone's face. Like you can generate your own faces just for this uh, like demonstration. I am using uh, a face of a celebrity, and you can see that I have generated this image. And the best part is, this is not a LoRa. This is. just one single image one single image and it is actually generating using flux and then i am enhancing the skin using sdxl but this generation you can see is actually flux so i am using flux to generate and you can see here like portrait of a woman in red dress so this is red dress portrait and it is taking the face from here so this is not just some face swap this is actually generating and uh, it is running locally on my laptop which has rtx 4060 so 8 gb of vram so it is like quite efficient when it comes to time as well as uh, vram and you will have consistent faces so the installation is a little bit tricky so first i'll go through what you need to do like what things you need to download and then there are some installation things which i'll show you how to like uh, run the commands and install it because uh, i was having some problems and i have seen that a lot of people were ha having problems uh, this is actually using pull id you can see this is using pull id for flux so uh, the installation is a little bit tricky so i'll explain everything don't worry about it right So firstly what you need to do is come to this repo and all of the download links will be in the description so don't worry about it come to this particular like uh, repo copy this go to your custom nodes folder right you'll get uh, a detailed installation guide here but uh, the easy ones i am just going to explain and uh, the tricky ones i'll show you so just git clone this whole into the custom nodes folder that's it you see there is written install all packages writ written in uh, requirements.txt right uh, leave this for now i'll explain how to do and what to do leave this just uh, git clone this secondly obviously i am assuming that you would have the flux dev models and everything this is actually a previous workflow only i'll provide this workflow this is already a previous workflow with the ggwf files and everything so uh, have that set up uh, like the normal uh, flux generation right now what you need to do is you need this uh, flux pre trained model So if you see this is the model download it from here right and put it in the config ui models pull id so there will be unit and everything models is the folder where you will file the unit where you put the ggwf files and everything you will not find a pull id uh, remember when you clone this instantly you cannot use the nodes if you try to use the nodes there will be some errors just create a folder named uh, pull id and put all uh, put this particular model there right this should be easy download the eva clip this is the eva clip download it and put it in the clip folder the clip folder is the same where you have these two the clip l and uh, the t5 the encoder everything this is the same folder you need to put the eva clip okay so that's also done now facex lib uh, dependency needs to be installed the models are downloaded at first use now in case it is not installed because uh, uh, there are some problems i have seen so i'll just show you what to do you need this face lib right i'll show the installation you need something called inside face with antelope v2 so for now just forget the face lib 
for now go to the antelope one right and you will find this the ant uh, antelope version 2 zip right download it you will have these files in the zip folder now remember copy it and go to the confi ui models create a folder if not present called inside face exactly like this then there would be another models folder and then there will be uh, antelope version 2 in that you have to extract everything in this particular zip these kind of files will be there you need to put it remember it is not in confi ui models and then antelope v2 it's confi ui models inside face then another models this is something which i was doing wrong and it was a very silly mistake but uh, i just overlooked it so when you are done with it right two things will be left out for you that is the face lib face x lib and the inside uh, face right so now what you need to do for the inside face i'll provide you a particular link this one here you can see there are four different files right you just need to check the python version of yourself and of your computer and if you see it is for example 3.11 so it would be inside face cp 311 okay and if it is python version 3.1 not 11 10 then this one or if it is 3.12 then 312 cp 312 select your file just download it and keep it in the downloads folder right now i'll show you the installation part of two three things So now you can see I am in my config UI folder, right? Uh, the inside face I had Python 3.11. So the inside face file I have moved to this folder. Right click on it. Copy as path. So it will copy the path. Now right click anywhere. Open terminal. And you need to paste this code. The ong's runtime uh, is important and here you will substitute the path that you just copied of this particular file right now if this right if it is not present so what you need to do is again you can open any terminal remember there was a requirements file in the custom nodes that we talked about so what you can do is pip install and then you put an r here which means like this is going to be a, a requirements text file and then you can put this whole like path this one i just wrote like you can copy the requirements file right and it will copy all the requirements which already has that uh, ongs uh, runtime but now if you want to install something singly so what you can do is that pip install you can open the run uh, the requirements file and anything which is needed just uh, type this command pip install and then you can write for example this is something which we needed and if you run it everything will be installed so after that when all of this is done you can run this particular code right there now when i was searching internet i had some issues where some people said that the path was not working so if the path is not working for you i am providing multiple options that is why i am not running it here because if one doesn't work for you you can try another one if this doesn't work just run this okay and remember this is very important otherwise it will not work so when you are done with it again in some particular like forums i saw the inside face folder was created here right 
बट दे मैंशन इट डिड नॉट वर्क अंटिल एंड अनलेस दे कॉपी पेस्ट द डिट इन द स्क्रिप्ट फोल्डर एज वेल सो वॉट आई डिड वॉज आई कॉपी डिट इन बोथ द प्लेसेस सो देर आर नो एरर्स सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट इज हैपन सो इफ यू गो टू कॉम्फी यू आई इफ यू डिट अंडरस्टैंड द रिक्वायरमेंट्स थिंग इफ यू गो टू कॉम्फी यू आई एंड यू कैन गो टू कस्टम नोट्स एंड हियर यू कैन सी दे वुड बी द पुल आई डी फ्लक्स राइट हियर यू सी द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फाइल सो इन द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फाइल यू कैन कॉपी दिस एंड यू कैन कॉपी अस पाथ एंड दैट इज हाउ you can go back and you can just remember to put this dash r which means that everything in this particular like now you can paste the path when you do all of this i think you would be pretty done with everything and you should not have any kind of error now if you have any kind of problems this is one video which actually helped me a lot by data leveling and uh, although i'll give all of these commands as well in my description you can check this whole video uh, like he has explained it in a very like cool manner so you can try that and when you are done uh, now i'll mention some things about the workflow as well right uh when you run for the first one or two times you may get an error of uh, low vram don't worry just keep on like pressing q prompt and uh, for like two or after two or three times it was fixed for me like if you get an error just try again it will work it's not an issue second thing is that i have chosen this cpu here this is the eva clip version these are all this would be uh, everything would be in uh, the workflow which i provide the, here you can choose the pull id flux uh, model from here and this is where you choose the image right try to choose a very clear and high quality image now due to some reason if your other softwares are using very high vram and uh, vram is not left what you can do is i am using the quant q4 version and i am using the q6 version of the ggf of the encoder right you can try to degrade this you can maybe try q4 so it will save some vram if you have lower vram but it is going to work perfectly at least for the 8 gb vram that i am using rtx 4060 so and obviously i am using it with flux and then it is again going like uh, it is going through a lot of passes because you can see this is normal generation of flux and this is like a little bit of skin enhancement so i like that this looks way better so that is the whole point and now uh one thing expressions are less likely to change so this is something which i have seen so if you choose a smiling face it is not going to drastically change it into a sad face so what i would like you to do is that you can reduce the weight then and you can change the start at to 0.1 or 0.2 so what happens is that if you take this particular face and the weight is reduced and the start at is reduced you can see that the expression changes it doesn't look exactly like this particular image but if you use this image for multiple generations they will look alike so uh, i guess you understand what i'm trying to say if you want to have a very different like uh, variation of expressions if you want something smiling you can see this is smiling obviously the hairstyle and everything can be changed the hair color and everything but if you want something like this you want completely like if you want this face as crying so it becomes a little bit difficult because this is not lora but still it works very good you know so this is one second thing is that one thing i have noticed uh, you can try to prompt like different backgrounds it creates different backgrounds but you know that bokeh effect where the background is slightly blurred it is like good in uh, generating those kind of images it does not generate images like with very uh, you know clear backgrounds very well so this is the second drawback 
but other than that if you are using another workflow to replace the backgrounds or anything this works very good so i hope you find this video uh, like useful and if you have any kind of doubt or anything like that you can put it in the comment section and i'll try to solve it yeah thank you